it's William and we're back and we're gonna do a review yes we're gonna do a review it's been a while I've had some of this stuff sitting around just haven't had no time ever since I started doing the you know the RV transport and doing those videos has kept me really busy but uh, I was holding off I was waiting for the better weather but it's like every time I'm back in Pennsylvania it's just raining all the time it's raining again today so um, Robin's in there healing up so I'm like well let's just go do a review and I'm out here in the porch of her parents house because we're not back in Alabama yet so um, we're gonna do this and anybody that follows the channel knows that our fifth wheel is in Alabama last year it was in Colorado we kind of move it around every year to a different area and I wanted a camera so that when we were out traveling doing the RV transport that we could actually keep an eye on the place or like Robin likes to she's always on the weather apps and she's always watching the bad weather and uh, I figured well she could click on that app and keep an eye on the weather keep an eye on the homestead and um, either make her feel better or make her feel worse I don't know but when you have a YouTube channel people are always sending you stuff and a lot of times I don't even deal with it or I don't answer them back but sometimes when there's something I know that we could use and actually be useful and I'm not out here promoting something that I don't even use myself so I just don't do that everything we promote on this channel is something we're using all the time so um, they sent me this camera they don't pay me to do this video but they give me the camera and by giving me the camera I do a video for that so um, we're gonna unbox it in this video we're gonna show you what's in the box we're going to show you what we're, we're actually going to give you our impressions of what we think about it because you can't really go any further than that because i'm going to hook this up in alabama on the location so that i can watch that area all the time so we'll do another video about that after we use it for a while and kind of give you an idea but you can buy it on amazon for 89 dollars. i've done a little research on it before i even started this um, I think for the price, you're getting a lot of camera for the price. So let's open this box and see what we got. It had one of these really round stickers on there that I was not going to do this on camera. It looked like I couldn't peel a sticker off and it was just as hard as I thought it would be. So I did peel that part off. And of course you got the, the manual with it right away. And it looks like it's in pretty thick for this little camera so it must be several languages in there yeah I can see a few different ones in there and it does have the QR codes on the back so you can just scan them with your phone and you can go right to a web Facebook YouTube so there's probably another video on YouTube already out there um, but it's a pretty nice book so let's check it out and you got some more styrofoam throw that down there if you have pets and they like to get that all over the place um, and this must be the solar panel. And I'm sure another one of the animals would love that one. So, oh, it's pretty just plastic, you know, of course. Must have a place for the mount right there. So, and of course, it tells you to place it in front of the sun, and we all know that. But another thing you want to do on these things, too, is sometimes just because you're pointing towards the sun is not actually where it gets the sun the longest so kind of watch that and I had an area one time where I put one and I thought it was getting the most sun and it was getting shaded from the other person's building so I had to move it more like that and it got that longer period so if you're having problems with it not keeping charged up then that's what you want to do and the reason I like this camera is I'm going to hook it on the top of my uh, right below my um, Starlink so that pole that's going way up there on top like that, I'm gonna hook it below it, and then I got the camera can view around where I need it to view. So, and it's up high enough out of the way, not really, people are gonna have to climb up on top of the RV to actually touch it. And I wanted something that I didn't have to run a bunch of wires and everything. So this one here, once you charge the unit up, it'll run right off that solar panel. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got in the box. And I'm assuming that's the camera mount. And there's some screws to mount it to something. I'm actually going to pick up a clamp and clamp it on there and then mount the clamp to this. Actually I think that I could just, I could probably just use a hose clamp now that I look at that. I think I could just run a hose clamp around it and then put the camera on there so I don't even have to buy something like that. So let's see what else we got here. And I'm sure this is for the solar panel. Yeah, so that you can get it at any angle you want so it's pretty nice. Mm. 
definitely in there. Box full of styrofoam. It's got some weight to it. It really does. It's uh, yeah, it's um, it's nice and heavy. Feels like it's pretty good, good, good construction because I've. On our, on our old house, I had cameras everywhere because I worked on motorcycles in the garage and I was always trying to keep an eye on all the tools and everything that was going on. And when me and Robin were traveling out of the country, I could actually go right on my phone and check the garage, check the inside of the house, check outside. It notified me all the time. And this one will do the same thing. This one, this one you can actually buy a service for $3.99 a month and it'll pop right up on your phone as a notification and you can tap right on it and it'll go right to a live stream. So I think that's pretty cool. So. Um, and also if you're somebody out there comes across this video and you've owned this camera and you've had problems or anything because I won't know any of that stuff for a while and I'd like it to get out there to the right people so leave something in the comments um, but overall overall it's got good construction nice box the people that sent me this got it to us very very fast um, you can purchase it through Amazon Robin will put the link down below and the good part about Amazon if you get it play with it for a couple days you can always just take it back if it's not what you think it is um, I mean that we buy all, you know 90% of our stuff from Amazon just because of that reason we just drop it off at a UPS or a coal it doesn't have to do nothing so that's a great great bonus with the Amazon thing but I do like the construction so I'm going to try to hook this up real quick I brought a cord out here just in case um, unless it turns into a nightmare then we'll just stop the video and add it back into it but you know when somebody does that you have no idea if they spent two hours trying to get this thing to connect and everything and I don't want to do that I want to let you know because I've bought cameras like this before where they wouldn't connect or they took forever and I got so fed up with them um, that's probably the most important thing to me is I want it to connect fast because I unhook this thing I move the RV somewhere um, well I, you know I won't even have to do that probably I probably can just bring down my pole like I always do and just leave this hooked right to the pole heck I could probably let it ride behind the RV when I'm driving and have another camera I'm gonna try that too in the next video I'm gonna see if I can just leave this mounted on that pole and when I slide the pole down I can turn it so it's pointing towards behind the vehicle and when I'm driving down the road Robin could be riding her phone I mean I don't know how good that solar panel will work or with it driving but that might be a great idea so you might want this camera just for that type of thing hell this could be your new uh, backup camera you could just have it mounted there on your phone and you wouldn't have any wires or anything this might even be a great RV backup camera so we're gonna it I got yeah I got lights and everything so let's see I did download the app to my phone a little earlier let's see what we got here um, and it had a QR code Okay, let's turn it on. I don't know if you have to. The power button's on behind this little rubber thing right here, and then there's a reset. This one's power, that one's reset, so let's just power it on. Okay, it's on, and the light's flashing. And all you gotta do, I was playing with it earlier, so you just click through the things and. There's a QR code. That you just scan. I got my volume off. I turned the volume off so it wouldn't and it, it just connects and you can oh it connected fast. It's right there and you can Oh and then it pops through and tells you if you want that service that they talk about for three dollars and ninety nine cents a month, then you have twenty four hour recording. Okay, so and it's got it's got intercom, so you can hear everything. Let's see if I can turn the volume up on my phone. See if we can get notifications of it. Experience now, it's trying to walk me. Oh yeah, see. So, so if it was out in your location and somebody's out there talking, yeah. Well, yeah. Let's turn that off. So. So that definitely works good. Yep, and it notified me as soon as my face went across it. There's an alert that goes right across there. So, um, let's just, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, you can see it there. I'm not quite sure how the tracking part works. 
motion detected. Okay, you can even, you can be all sensitive if you want to do the motion detection. And you can put it in power saver mode, so if you don't want it to get so crazy. Actually, it looks like it has a lot of settings. You can just tap a picture, and it snaps a screenshot. Allow full access, and then it, yeah, it notifies you. Yeah, it notifies you. And record. Yeah, Sounds driving me nuts. Let's see, that's one thing bad about this new iPhone. Every time I turn the volume down, as soon as you open the app up or whatever you're using, it brings the volume back up. This is the new iPhone 15. Oh, it's look at the light. Check that out. Is it going? What the heck's that all about? Wow. That gave me better lighting just for the video. <laughs> this is crazy. Um full color mode yeah there's a lot going on with this camera so um, notified as soon as I move it a little bit it keeps notifying me just just it's not taking it's very sensitive very sensitive I'm not quite sure how the lights work unless that just comes on automatically or maybe it's because I got it plugged in because I hate for that to be running down the battery out oh, now it went off so that's cool actually that's probably the fastest any one of these cameras that I've ever owned connected to this phone um, Looks like it has a lot of features and even if you wanted that three dollar ninety nine cent ninety nine cent service per month You could do that. I mean you don't have to you can still go on there and just tap it when you want to check it If somebody walks by it, it's going to give you a notification And I, I think it only records for like 30 seconds when it does that I think you have more options when you actually purchase that service. So um, but other than that My first impressions on this. I think this is a pretty nice camera for eighty nine dollars. You're getting a lot here um, so but we'll give you some reviews as we use it. Um, when we get back down to the RV here in the next couple weeks, I'm just waiting for Robin to get healthy and then we're gonna run some trips around and do some deliveries and then work our way down there and we're gonna spend some time down there. I, I need to get the fifth wheel. There's lots of things I've purchased for it that I wanna do videos on and get that upgraded. And then I wanna, I'm gonna actually wash and I'm gonna, I'm gonna buff that paint on that thing. I, I used to have a detail shop when I was like 20 years old. so. Um, it's been a while since I've been buffing paint and everything, but I've got some swirls and stuff in the fifth wheel So I'm going to do that and I'm going to get this camera hooked up on the top there and then get let you know how that works So if you keep, you know keep following the channels and I'll give you updates on this products as we use them But I like to do reviews and if you're out there and you're looking for somebody to do reviews check our channel out um, um, I like to do that stuff and if I can help you out and it helps our channel out That'd be great and if it helps our viewers out that'd be great So just remember if you like the video give us a thumbs up and if you like what me and Robin are doing on the channel subscribe to the channel and always